Hi guys, I thought I'd uh, open up this uh, Technics Stereo Sound Processor. This was the um, top section to the Technics stack system. It's got all the um, connection A and A1 and B2 up here. Uh, AUX and DVD in brackets, left and right. Uh, VCR, EXT in brackets, out, in, subwoofer, out, and DVD six channel input, center, subwoofer, surround, left, right, front, left, right. So I think we've just got the usual five screws, two on either side, one on the back, so I've lost the tripod, I don't know where it is, so I'm going <laughs> to... Sit you on a makeshift tripod. I'll just bend that wire out of the way, I hope. And just sit you on the um, battery while I remove some screws. No, I'm actually doing this at, it's just gone one o'clock in the morning. But I want to get some junk out of my way, so I've got a tin over there I'm going to put all the screws in. all this dismantled you see then I can uh, put it down to the trailer ready for scrap or just put it in the bin or whatever now I'll probably go on the trailer for scrap my uh, scrap man can take that if he's still collecting it I don't know if he's still weighing it in I haven't seen him advertising, so he may have stopped as uh, scrap metal is uh, worth absolutely nothing. Well, steel and iron is worth. Ah, uh, uh, try again. Iron, steel and iron is worth nothing. Alright. So, what I usually do with covers like this, so I just uh, fold them. Go on the tray, it's a lot easier. Okay. Pick you up now. And all we've got in here is one, well, I suppose two circuit boards, counting the one under the front panel. And, uh, I'm going to have to undo all them screws in the back panel, aren't I, to get the circuit board out? Although, don't know if there's anything on here that I would want to salvage. Maybe the RCA connectors. Possibly. There might be some buttons on the front here that I might salvage. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose I might as well take it out. Not if the capacitors, the electrolytic capacitors, are worth salvaging. They're quite small. Some of these, they might be. I don't know. I'll see you on here and I'll do some more dismantling. Oh, on the other panel, this was. Um, that was. Um, screwed down and a couple of screws under here but this one isn't it's just clipped just clipped in lots of places and if you so much as move it in the wrong direction the clips re-clip ow I caught my finger on that one get off just a chunk of plastic that can go in the main bin. So, I'll just bring this to the camera, it's easier, that's the front. Another vacuum fluorescent display. More electrolytics, LEDs. Some peculiar shaped LEDs at that, I've never seen any like that before. Momentary buttons, meh, I could salvage those I suppose if I really wanted to. Anyway, enough of that. And, uh, just cut the wire. 
was. Makes life easier. Now I'm getting with the more unscrewing. take all these bloody screws out of the back, haven't I? I suppose they're put in here. So when you plug things into the back, you don't accidentally break the connector. Should you accidentally press it a bit too hard. I mean, one of them little, small electric screwdrivers, they would probably be perfect for things like this. I did have a couple, but I actually got rid of them because they weren't powerful enough, but uh, maybe they weren't powerful enough for what I was trying to use them for. But, uh, doesn't matter. Yeah. If these screws weren't in there, then yeah, you'd end up Pressing the connectors in. I always wondered. I always wondered when I was younger why they put screws in like that. But I suppose it's kind of obvious when you think about it. Uh, after this screw, we have two more in the back. And that's just the one that's holding the main board down. Yeah, I suppose the RCA connectors might come in handy for some custom projects I've got in mind. I don't know if I'll ever do anything electronic related, but you never know. It's the first time for everything. Did that go in the tin? Did that miss? No, that missed. I didn't think that made the right sound. Right. So, I've got one there. One here. Don't panic, I will pan the camera over once more when I've got this board out. And the front board. I'm missing a screw. Where am I missing a screw? Oh, no, I'm not. It was just stuck. No weight to it. Right, how is the front held on? Clips again, just like the main unit. It's just a little clip. You got bend out to get the board out. It'll come out. Yep, that's one side done. Like that. Right, another bit for the scrap pile, so I'm going to uh, just lay these flat on here. Move those. So I'll just give it a pan over for you so you can have a look. A lot of tough. I've noticed that there isn't any surface mount in this. I'm surprised. I would have thought, because I don't think that stereo is that old. But uh, everything looks through hole. And a lot of jumper wires. It's pretty tidy. I have to say that. It's tidily laid out. A five two one eight A. I was looking at that chip there. And it's got nine zero F zero. Don't know if that's year ninety. Yeah, that's A A five two one six A. I haven't got my magnifying glass, but I believe that's a six. Just in case anybody wanted to uh, Google that. 
can't quite see what they are. I could always do a follow-up video when I take things off of these. Oh, there is some bits on the back. Oh, there's surface on the back. I knew there had to be some surface somewhere. It's just these chips, though, from the look of it. You can't see what they are. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the back of this. Yeah, that's definitely a... I don't think it's single-sided. Yeah. Anyway. Let's have a quick look at this one. Yeah, there's LEDs. I know. Speaking of LEDs, it might help if I put them on on the camera. Look at them funny little things in there. Try and get them at a different angle. So that's what that dial hit. That's all it hit, was it? Just a little flick switch thing. It's a little dial on the front, and I presume there's just little notches on there that did that. Am I right? I am right. There we go. Lights are reflecting now, aren't they? If I get that under my arm, you can just see the... notches when I rotate it. I may obviously knock against that little switch down there. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's a bit noisy, I hit the metal. Right, that's two more boards for the tray. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for the next section to dismantle. I've got two more of this Two more sections to dismantle, because I believe that was a four-piece, I think. I think there's only two in the kitchen. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.